Hi guys, welcome back. We're watching Moriarty the Patriot episode 20. Jeez, I don't know what happened this weekend, but this weekend I've been exhausted. It's like all the week just came crashing down on the weekend. Like, But anyways, we have, we met a new character last week, Mr. Whiteley. He's a really cool honorable man as of now that we know him and he has people out to get him, unfortunately. I don't want anything to happen to him mostly do not want him to turn into anybody else just be the same honorable cool man that i know you to be right now william decided to support him as he was able to judge his character when he set up a little meeting a little conference and he decided to support him and they gave him some documents that could really really help him out whether he decides to use them to his advantage or not is his choice um but they believe that they've like trusted it in proper hands so we're gonna continue we saw some really scary new guys at the end of last week's episode and uh they are after his little brother absolutely not like i knew that was gonna happen and i'm like come on so anyways guys let's get right into it and let's see what happens in this episode The night scenes in this show are always so creepy and ominous. God, that's so gruesome, bro. Y'all messing with the wrong one, okay? He got William on his side now, okay? Okay. Dang。一括で病院に収められるようにした。ああ。オッケー。It's Tell me this guy doesn't give you Erwin vibes, like, oh my gosh. Bro, seriously? Hold on, wait. Okay, okay. <laughs> Bro, it's dark. Like, that's not too much to ask! I doubt it. The best defense is a good offense. I feel like it's a little naive. Like, I feel like, yeah. Mm. What are you saying? Uh. Like, right? I did not expect at all. I'm like, honey. Mm. He's like, an, he's low-key naive, low-key, like, you know. Whoa, what in the world? Ah! Woo! Oh my god, it's the big dude. Son, how did you know? How did you know? You don't... How did they know? I guess they figured what are some sketchy places someone would be watching from. Bro, no. Wait, actually, don't nothing happen, please. She killed her. She's just tied up. Oh, I pressed pause. <laughs> Is she killed her? She just tied up, bro. Bro, she's not alive. Bro, are you see? <gasps> That's messed up. They took this lady, bro. Dang, bro. <gasps> 
Bro, bro, please no. Please no. Please no. Please no. The show did not do that. Come on, the y'all The show did not do that. Please no. They're probably gonna just they probably didn't just kill him, like they're gonna use him. Bro, everyone's gone, bro. I'm actually devastated. Like I didn't expect all these people to just Bro, did they really get the brother to stop? I think they took the brother hostage. I don't think they killed him yet. Stop. Oh my god. I, I, sh I, I really thought this show was like kind of nice. Like I didn't think they would... Like... I really just didn't fully expect that at all. I really didn't expect that. I think William and them are going to come through now, but I really didn't expect that. Like, of course he didn't want to, but like he did it because he wanted that over something else. That's how I see it sometimes. Sometimes I'm like, he wanted this over something else. And I don't blame him, it's his family though, but... Why do I feel like he's not gonna do anything? Or he's gonna be stopped. That's crazy, I actually didn't expect this. What about those other kids in wheelchairs? Especially after hearing what he said, you feel like you guys are both on the same side of, the, of a coin. Like, just on, you know, you guys are on different sides of the same coin. Okay, I have to say something. Okay, this episode was amazing. Like, okay, ironically so. But, like, the misleading, the, oh my god. That scene right here, I almost never seen anything like it i've almost never seen anything like it the first thing of him like screaming and he's gonna stab the guy me i'm just like oh he probably won't or he will but he probably won't so i'm prepared for either outcome he does it and i'm like that's where i expected it to go and he's flipping stabbing the table a few times and then for him to decide afterwards to i'm done i'm done that scene though, wow. I did not, that, that was crazy how they did that, bro. Wow. Damn. You know what now? It looks like he murdered his whole family. It looks like he just killed everybody in his household. It doesn't, you know? Wow. Oh, They did worse than kill you. I didn't want him to die, but they did even worse, Loki. He could have still died a very honorable man, you know? Y'all needed to- I, it wasn't their fault, but oh my gosh. I really wish they could have come through, because- <laughs> This guy reminds me of the flipping titan. <laughs> the- the cart titan. Right? Is it the cart titan? That has like this- Guy Moran should have been somewhere with a sniper, like this whole time. I don't know where he's doing somewhere. And where did where did um I guess I guess Bond went to report what he saw because where was Bond too? Is he gonna join them? <gasps> They have a place for you here with them. <laughs> Although everyone knows his face though.
I'm still real sad about everything that happened though, man. That sucks. Ugh. Why did I not expect this very cruel and raw turnout? Like, the show can be like that, so why did I not expect it? Oh, so they don't assume it was him that did it? That really makes him look like a superhero, bro. Like, kind of thing. Like, this is terrible, though. Like, he's crushed right now. Like, anybody would be. It was his driving force, honestly. Dang. Uh, excuse me? Oh, was this part of the plan? He literally met with your life? So we're gonna orchestrate your murder in front of everybody? Are you kidding me? No, you're not gonna show your face. Wait, no, no, wait, no, no. This is not how he runs things. They're faking his death. So that, they're faking his death right now. Right? Why are you showing your face low key? Unless they can't see you. Bro. Catch me if you can! No! If they write down what he said, Sherlock is gonna know. If they write down what he said, if like news people, paper article people write down what he said, they're gonna know. Sherlock's gonna be like, yo, catch me if you can? What? Not for real, or is it for real? This country of altering equality still needs a hope for equality. If your crime ever comes to light, then that hope will turn to despair. And the pathway to equality will fall. Uh huh. Even if I die, I won't, it won't blot out my crime. Oh my god, so they really killed him? The Lord of Crime. They actually killed him? That's crazy. This whole episode was insane to me. Bro. What? Everything I could I would have not wanted has happened. When I tell you, when I tell you, when I tell you that this whole episode did everything I did not want to happen. Like what? And if there was people that are gonna write an article about the situation, they write down the quote that he said. Sherlock has to know. That's crazy. Oh. Necessary. They're necessary evil, and the other guy is just pure evil. Look, oh my god. I don't know if they're going to do the thing I'm saying about Sherlock, but it would make sense. The sign of Mary? Oh, wow. I have no clue what, what actually happens, but we get to see Sherlock again. I don't know, maybe he's gonna, yeah, maybe he's gonna be shook and actually find out. I can't believe that in this episode, the one good thing I could say I'm happy about is that Whiteley didn't have to live without his brother. Like, what? I, I cannot believe that that is what makes me the happiest, is that he was still able to not tarnish his name and his, his family's name and all that they still you know they're not being tarnished in any way publicly and that he didn't have to live having like knowing he murdered someone knowing that his brother was killed like all that all of them were killed and he got to like die in a way that still pushes forward towards his goals and stuff like i just i'm like i'm glad you, ha you got that happened to you <laughs> Like, I hate it, but, like, I'm kind of happy. I'm happy for him that he went out the way he did. 
unbelievable. That's like the best thing I could say happened in this episode. Other than that, it was just tragedy. Complete tragedy. And it was everything I didn't want. The brother died. Heck, add the other people that lived in the place, why not? Oh, and then the person that did it was in fact their bodyguard that was being blackmailed pretty much the same way. When it came to Whiteley killing him, I had no idea. I didn't I didn't know what would be the there's no proper res Ugh, bruh. The proper response to that is to not kill anybody because it's just wrong to do so, period. But I can never judge what kind of impulsive reaction can happen in a circumstance like that. Um and that scene was just completely bewildering because I, they gave me a whole other impression and then just switched up on me within like a half second, you know, of me being like, okay, that's how it's gonna go. <gasps> like, that's basically what happened. Even after his impulsive, you know, murder, his impulsive, what, what he'd been through and all that, he was able to like pull back and still see the wrong in what he did and still look at himself as just, like, he didn't justify his actions by any means. And it's true, like, yeah, he didn't, he didn't justify his actions, and it's just, you could see that he still died a pretty great man. Um, it's so unfortunate what happened to him. It's so unfortunate because, I mean, his family was good, he was really putting his life and stuff on the line for such a greater cause, and for all this to just come crashing down is just really devastating. As for Augustus Milverton, I forgot his first name, Charles, Charles Augustus Milverton, as for this dude, okay, he needs to suffer the consequences. The fact that he's actually a villain villain, like, he's not just a villain. He's a villain villain. Actually, I don't know what his past is. Maybe he's just a villain. Basically, in case you guys don't know, a villain... <laughs> a villain is, like, a villain that was turned villain but was actually really good and normal and then something happened and then he switched paths of devastation, blah, blah, blah. But a villain villain is just someone that just purely been maybe a little crazy since they were young or just grew up and like went crazy like i don't know charles augustus milverton's story but right now he just seems like a villain villain like he just en he just enjoys doing crooked evil stuff seeing people twist up all that kind of stuff he just looks like pure evil they even gave him the snake eyes you know the devil kind of they really made an association so i don't know anything about him don't know his past but right now he's a He's, he's a villain villain, okay? Yeah, so I hope we get to the bottom of that and, you know, he gets the justice he deserves. Like, he, he gets the, the, the judgment, no, the punishment he deserves. The other thing I'm really excited for is, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I don't have no idea if, you know, Charles, Charles, I have no idea if Sherlock is going to read an article that says that specific dialogue. I don't know, it just, it just seems like something that could so happen. Like, he reads the newspaper and they go like the the culprit come like pulls up and says and then they they write down exactly what it says and at the end it says catch me if you can that's such a like oh my God. anyways i don't know if that's gonna happen but it's like perfect uh, <laughs> but yeah we, we're getting more sherlock next week it seems and john and stuff like that so anyways guys i will end the video here that was a crazy episode honestly like really a lot happened and it just really just went haywire but leave how you guys feel your thoughts down below no spoilers and i'll see y'all again in my next video so thank you so much and bye